What we'll try and develop through our research is this sense of movement and sound to explore how movement and sound can correspond to create a kind of intuitive interface with the string. My name is Di Mainstone. I am artist in residence at Queen Mary University where I experiment with new musical interfaces. Doing a residency at iBeam Centre for Art and Technology, I was often told to like go and get inspired by the city, and um, so I'd often go up to the Brooklyn Bridge and just kind of watch people and listen. I started to think about what could happen if we could somehow create a sound installation on the bridge, and I was thinking about all the different sounds that you hear on the bridge. So there's the kind of hum and the vibration of the steel cables themselves, because essentially the bridge is a giant instrument with these kind of steel cables under stress and tension in the same way as a violin or a harp might have that. And I wondered if I could somehow collaborate to create a kind of parasitic instrument that would magnetically attach to the bridge and enable people, pedestrians or dancers, to remix them through kind of movement and collaboration. This is a harp note, it has a spring inside of it and some string. So when you pull the string, we are able to measure, using sensors, the length of the piece of string, the speed at which you pull it, and also the angle of the string. And all of that information is then sent through to the max patch here, where it's processed. It runs through a granular synthesizer, which allows it to have different sonic effects. That information is then sent through to Ableton Live, where it's processed so that each one of these has its own specific sound and it also recognises the kind of motion of the, the ways in which this piece of string is pulled and um, allows uh, you to use that as a control. Each of these harp modules, like any instrument, it can be, you can compose something for it. CIID, Copenhagen School, and we made huge progress, made a further eight harp notes, which we then developed further in London, making, adding all the technology and the Arduino. In their current state, they're not recording environmental sounds, they're simply, they have sounds which have been pre-chosen, just so that you can hear how they work. But what we hope is that we will create an interface that can record specific sounds so you can pick what you want to record. And ideally, wherever we stop with this project, we collaborate with local music musicians and dancers and try and um, get a flavour of the kind of host location. We're going to create fittings onto these. They could be magnetic and rubberized so they won't damage the kind of architectural integrity of the bridge in any way. Then the dancers or pedestrians can just pull these and they attach to a holster via these magnetic landing pads. What really struck me during this phase was this kind of metaphor of the bridge. So not only was the metaphor of bridge and heart, but bridge and connection. And already what was happening through this project was I was bridging information from Copenhagen in London. So I was coming with an idea and, and taking it to New York and connecting with these people. And it was kind of picking up momentum and, and gaining strength. And so it seemed to me that I had to really sort of capitalise on this idea of this bridge and connecting people and through kind of bridging information and sharing the project and breaking it down into chunks, it was more likely that I could actually find a way to do the performance on the bridge in the long term. 